Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look to see if we can place an image behind text within a cell. So the way you might have tried to do this, especially if you've used other applications like Word or PowerPoint, is to place the image over the text, right click on the image and try to use center back. Now that would only work if you had more than one object or picture in your sheet. And all it would in fact do is place this picture behind that other object. So center back will not place your image in the background of a cell or behind the text within a cell. It just doesn't work like that. So we're going to have to look at another method. But first of all, I'll delete that photo. Before I show you that method, I will just point out that you can tile an image in the background of a sheet. If I go to the page layout tab and then background from file, choose my image, you can see that the image is tiled in the background of the sheet. That's not what we want today. So I'm going to delete the background. Delete the text here. So the first step, if you are going to use this method, is to resize the cell for the image. Then go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, go to the Illustrations group, and insert a rectangle. Draw it within your cell. Then right click on that rectangle and go to Format Shape. And that will open up the Format Shape task pane on the right of your screen. Now you need to be on the Fill and Line section of this task pane. And first of all, expand Fill and choose Picture or Texture Fill. Click on Insert. Browse for your image. Select it, click on Insert, and you'll see the image in the background of your shape. And you want to go to Line and take the line off. So we'll go to No Line. Then what you want to do is go to the Size and Properties section, Expand Properties, and make sure Move and Size with Sales is selected. Now what that means is, is if I inserted a row that the image would stay within the cell that it was originally inserted in. Also, if I change the height of a row above it, you can see that the image still stays within that cell. Now, once this is set up, I can just click on the shape and start to type. And you can see that the text is inserted in front of the image. Okay, hopefully that's useful. If it is, please do subscribe and I'll see you next video.